Okay, so what I want to do today is talk about the two MIDI mix functions that are in Preferences and in the Functions uh, menu of the Media Player. And so let's first talk about this function here. So in Preferences, you have this option called MIDI File Save Mix. And essentially what this does is uh, if this is not checked, then any changes that you make to your uh, MIDI file by way of using the sliders on the front panel or in the um, mixer screen will not be saved to the MIDI file. So it, it is not saved to the MIDI file. That's very important. So let me show you very quickly. So as you can see, it's not checked. So if I go into a MIDI file and I take a look at it, you'll see here. <laughs> Look at track five. Track five is set at 60, right? So I will go ahead and I will increase track 60. 60 to 90. Let's save. Global. Yes. So I saved it to 90, right? Now I will go ahead and take a look at it. Well, let me just load something else here to get something loaded. Okay. And we'll look at it now. And you'll see. has not changed. So if you want to be able to change your volumes on your MIDI file, the first thing that you have to do is to make sure that uh, the save MIDI mix in preferences is enabled. So we'll go over here. Uh, one more time, we'll take a look at that. Boom, now we'll enable it, right? Now we'll do the same test again. We will go ahead and we will uh, play that MIDI file. Okay, should be at 60. <laughs> 60. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it to uh, 15. Now I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, and now we'll take a look at it again. Load something else real quick. Look at this. And it should be set at 15. Take a look. You'll see that it's set at 15. So that works. So that's how that function uh, uh, works. So it's related to what's saved to the um, MIDI file and whether it is or it is not. Now, the uh, other function is this one here in, in media. When you go in to, to play the MIDI file, you'll see here that you got function. And then we have something called MIDI mix. Now what this does is this is based on the, the um, recall of the file. This has nothing to do with saving it. So what this says is if it's enabled, I want you to override the volume settings that are intrinsic inside the MIDI file and I want you to use whatever settings are indicative based on the sliders on the front panel. So for example, if the MIDI file says I want to play at 30 but my slider is set at 127, when the MIDI file is loaded it will play at 127. If this is off, then when the MIDI file is loaded, it will play at whatever volume it was saved at, irregardless of what the slider button is. So again, let me, let me demonstrate. So with MIDI mix off, um, it's going to recall the volume that's saved, right? So if we go into media, and we go to that file again. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, oh, turn that off, okay. We load that file and we take a look at it. Right, you'll see that it's at 15, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change it to 20. Actually, I'm gonna change it to, I'm gonna raise it up. So it's at 100, but my volume slider for my chords is set very low. Okay, so now when I go back and I load that MIDI file, uh, because of the, I forgot how we set the function button, I gotta take a look. Okay, because the MIDI mix button is off, it's gonna load the 100 from the file. Okay, so let's take a look. So we reload it. And there's the 100 from the file. Now, if the, uh, if the um, let's go back in, if the function button 
uh, MIDI mix and function is on, what that's going to do now is it's going to say, hey, I don't care what has been saved in the MIDI file. I'm going to load it and use the values that the sliders on the front panel make. So for example, my slider on the front panel for my uh, chord track is, is low. It's pro I don't know where it's at. It's probably about 30. So, so it should pull that value in instead of the higher value that we currently have. So let's look at it. So we see, if we go into Mixer, uh, it's set at, well, it's because I changed it. Let's, let's reload it again. So let's go ahead and reload it. Um, let's see, go back here. Function, function, turn it off. Okay, now if we reload it, boom, boom, and look at it. Okay, it's set at 100. Okay, it recalled, the f it recalled the MIDI volume that was in the file at 100. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this feature on. So it will no longer recall the 100 now. It's going to recall whatever the position of my slider is. So my slider is relatively low. So this should recall some number, let's say less than 50 is what I think. So now we'll go ahead and we'll look at it and we'll recall it and then we'll and you'll see that it's at 17 because that's where my slider is. So if I move my slider to If I move my slider, so watch this. So now I'm going to move my slider to zero, bring it all the way down, and I will go ahead and I'll recall that file again, right? So let's take a look at it. And you'll see that it's set at zero. Right? That's because my slider on my front panel is set at zero. If I don't want it to use the sliders on the front panel and I want it to use the volume that's inside the MIDI file, then what I would do is I would go ahead and I would go into functions and I would turn that off. Now when I load the MIDI file, it should load the 100 and not load the position of the fader um, uh, at the time of loading. So we'll go ahead and load this, look at it, and, it and there it is at 100. So that's the idea. So uh, just in summary, the MIDI mix in preferences I, its purpose is that when um, when it's enabled, the volumes that you change in the general mixer will be saved to the file. So that's very important that that's turned on if you want to be able to save volumes to the file and then recall them later. When you recall them later, you have two choices. You can use, in now in the functions menu of the MIDI player, there's another button called, or an icon called MIDI Mix there as well. And that one is used only for recall. So if that is not enabled or not yellow, then when you recall a MIDI file, it will use whatever volume is inside the MIDI file or what you saved last. If you have it enabled, then it will not use the saved volume in the MIDI file, but rather it will use whatever the settings are that you have for the volume sliders on the front panel of the um, of the unit. So it provides a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to be able to operate and uh, and utilize your MIDI files either based on slider positions on the front panel or if uh, if you've taken the time to set up your individual volumes and you don't want those to change based on changes on your sliders. So I hope that's uh, a c little bit clearer it's a very, uh, it's a complicated subject because there's obviously two features, two buttons, and they're interrelated to each other. So um, I hope that helps a little bit.